Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we're gonna talk about Kang vs Avengers battle. We're gonna talk about how they're most probably gonna introduce Kang the Conqueror in the upcoming Avengers movie. So without wasting any more time, let's start our video. So in the starting, we see the Avengers excluding the Black Panther because he's in the Wakanda, prepared to board the specialized Quinjet to take them into space. Kang is prepared to fire his Democles his most powerful weapon. His target is Avengers Mansion, realizing the blast would wipe out much of the New York. And in that period of time, Thor leaves the ship and deflects Democles, which is again uh, Khan's most powerful weapon, back at the ship. While Thor may have saved the New York and damaged Kang's ship, the action leaves him in a coma. Then we see Thor falling to Earth and then two Ultron robots catch him and put him someplace safe. So now one of the Avengers top guns and one third of the Ultron robots are immediately taken out of the battle. Iron Man and Vaz defend the Quinjet while the rest of the team smash their way onto Democles. That team which includes Hulk, Captain America, Pimp and two Ultron's board are met by some of Kang's goons and quickly appear overmatched. Using a little of Vaz's own creative thinking, Iron Man and Val get into the ship as well. The two teams eventually overpower Kang's men. Kang himself is in for a show when Iron Man reveals that he has been able to adopt his armor to be able to even the odds against the Conqueror. However, the tipping point in the battle is was finding Kang's look, Princess Ravonna, in suspended animation when his future is wiped out. Ravonna was in danger of being erased as well. When Ultron is about to take Damocles back to its own timeline, Wasp stops him, explains Ravonna's situation and takes Kang into custody. Shield occupies Damocles to let the new company sword take care of it. Then we see Thor who wakes up from his coma and then we see Reed Richard and Hank studying the Ravonna and uh, Ultron appears ominously in the background and perhaps fully aware of what he will become for the next battle. And that's it guys, the episode ends with another threat from Kang. So that's it for today guys. If you enjoyed our video, please do like and share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you. Peace out.